end of day three, um, halfway through the regatta now. We've had a fantastic sailing day today. I mean, really was fantastic conditions. Um, you know, between between 12 and 16 knots across the courses. Um, nice bright sunlight, warm but not as not ridiculously hot like it was yesterday. Um, and that meant we got three races in for all three of the Paralympic classes and, and bring them almost back to schedule. Yeah, the first three races for the Sonar team were really, uh, you know, by their standards, really pretty disappointing. Um, and, you know, yesterday finishing actually last in, in the, the race three of the series. Um, you know, some, some serious words amongst themselves and, and with their coach, Dave Lovegrove, I think, over the last 24 hours. Anyway, that seems to have worked. They came out today all guns blazing and, and won all three races and won them well and convincingly um, and really put themselves back in the frame and moved themselves up to fifth overall and actually only five points away from the silver medal. Uh, with with a five races to go, so still, you know, right back in it all to play for. So hopefully, uh, some more of that tomorrow, and uh, things will be looking considerably rosier for our British Sonar team. Alexandra and Nikki had a, uh, again had a solid day, uh, making good progress, pulled themselves up to second overall after the second race, and really were looking to to consolidate that and make some ground on the Australian team who are who are doing very well at the moment, very consistent. In, at the top of the field uh, unfortunately just before the start the shackle that attaches the jib sheet onto the clue board actually came undone and one of the unfortunate things about this particular class is that once you're sat in your seat you're not allowed to move after the preparatory signal so although they could see exactly what was wrong and although they were physically capable of fixing it they couldn't actually reach the jib clue from the seated position that, that Nikki the crew was in and um, so you can imagine the level of frustration when you're reaching forward to the to the jib clue to put the shackle back on and it's just you know a, a hand width uh, f away from from where you you can reach so that meant that they weren't actually able to start that race so that was pretty disappointing and um, on the brighter side for them uh, most of their competitors, their key competitors, were actually over the start at start time, and um, so they were then disqualified from the race. So, as it happens, Alexandra and Nikki actually extended a couple of points on on the competition at that time and retained their uh, silver medal position at the moment with uh, five races still to go. Helena uh, nearly had an absolutely fantastic day. Um, she was unfortunately, however, in the second. Uh, race of the day she was lying fourth doing quite well ended up having an incident with uh, Dee Smith the American a um, bit of a misunderstanding between both of them actually but anyway she was uh, in the wrong took a penalty turn that dropped her down to 10th she made a little bit of ground through the course of the race uh, ultimately it then turned out that she'd actually infringed another boat subject to, to protest and has actually been now disqualified from the second race today um, good comeback in the final race of the day though um, and finished third and that managed to pull her back from uh, race between race four and five she's actually moved from fourth overall back into the gold medal position at the moment uh, but very tight with the top four boats all very very close at the top of that fleet so really that whole regatta still starts again tomorrow we're only five races in however in that fleet so we have six races still to go and one of the things that's that's clear is Helen's got great boat speed at the moment and is going very well. So uh, as long as she can keep her head in the right right space, uh, her words not mine, then uh, then she's going to be there or thereabouts by the time we get to the end of this week. Unfortunately for race three today, which was race number six, uh, one and a half minutes uh, we we're in start sequence everything was fine we we're gearing up really happy and ready and our jib uh, sheet fell off or snapped or whatever and uh, so we had to retire so that was really unfortunate because we'd obviously gain some momentum today and you know we're really hoping to to make it another top two finish for the day um, so sadly that didn't happen but we've been informed that our rivals in the other coloured medal race <laughs> um, both had OCSs in 
this race, so that means that they're now counting maximums as well. They're not counting maximums, but they both have maximums on their score sheet, and the Polish team is now having to count a maximum um, due to the protests the other day. So, so yeah. So unfortunately, the Australians haven't really made a wrong move, but um, you know, we'll fight another day. Yeah, different day to um, previous two days. Um, Southeastly gradient today with more pressure. Um, and um, it was pretty much a right down the track and that was a priority of the day so on all, pretty much all the starts we wanted to get right as soon as possible so um, usually just start, well we did start by the committee boat on three occasions and just go out to the right and without, you know, uh, just try and get on the lifted tack as much as possible all day and had some good boat speed uh, and uh, yeah the boat was just going really well, comms were going really well and just um, some of the stuff so we talked about last night in a debrief we put to bed and came out um, on the water today and and uh, implemented it really which is quite satisfying just to have confidence in in the plan and actually just uh, you know just to believe in ourselves and realize we've got the pedigree and and just came out with a sort of a, a more of a positive mindset today not that we didn't have in the previous two days but a bit more uh, a bit more arousal really and we, we you know we love the medium to strong breeze as well which suits us and we're working on a few things on trim and um, steering technique with our new coach. And that, obviously that's worked pretty well.